Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Raja from IIT Madras. I am back with another topic. So this video is about IIT MBS foundation level. So I successfully completed the foundation level of IIT MBS and I hope to get 10 CGP in this sem also. But I very well know that many of you are struggling to complete this foundation level. You might have faced the problem of time management and you are not able to get good CGP and not able to secure good marks. So this video is all about these uh, things. So in this video, I am going to provide you some general tips, guidelines or tricks you can see so that you can maximize your potential, increase your CGP or marks or uh, manage your time effectively. So this video will prove very helpful if you are in the foundation level right now or even if you are planning to take some foundation subject or even if you are uh, planning to uh, take qualifier. So this video will be very helpful and uh, I will provide uh, tips on the basis of my own experience or what I have experienced in this program uh, uh, so far. So uh, you can also share this video to your friends who are planning to enroll for this program. So let's see and let's go. So hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So if you don't know about me, this is a brief information about me. Myself Raja Ahu, currently an MS call in the Department of Electrical Engineering at IIT Madras. And before that, I have completed BTEC Electrical from IIT Rapo in 2022 with a gold medal. Then after that, I joined IIT MBS program in September 22. And then right now, I've completed foundation level with 10 CGPA. And uh, I am about to enter in the diploma level. So uh, in this video, I have compiled all my experience in the form of some tips, guidelines and tricks. Uh, so that you can also perform well in this program and can increase your potential and the capability. It is very important to score uh, well in the foundation level because the if you do not score well in the foundation level, not able to get, you will not be able to grasp uh, good uh, required concepts well and you will definitely face difficulty in the uh, diploma level. So uh, it is very important uh, to get a good CGPA as well as to get the good understanding of the whatever the concept which are taught in the foundation level. So in th this video will be very helpful, will prove very helpful you in, you in the long run. So let's see. So if you see the foundation level structure, there are total eight subjects. You must uh, must be familiar about this eight subject. So first thing which I want to convey is try to finish as early as possible because uh, if you want to complete the degree uh, uh, very well, so it is very important to uh, finish the foundation level as early as possible. But the, at the same time, I want to say that be aware of your capability. So self introspection is quite important for that. I want to say that finish as early as possible. But uh, in addition to that, I also want to convey that you must be aware about your capability, which uh, from which I mean that you need to do self introspection. If you are from the non math background, non programming background, if you're from biology background, and if you'll take the Python, math, or stats, so in a one term, then it will be very hectic and then it can be also turned to a nightmare. So, uh, uh, as early as possible, but take subject according to your capability. And no one will tell you uh, about your capability. You must understand about your capability, your situation. So, that's the important thing. Then another thing is try to score better in the foundation level. So if you want to get the good placement uh, through this program, so CGPA is quite important uh, for this program. And even from any, if you want to go for higher studies or, for, or want to achieve anything through this program, a good CGPA is quite important. And the foundation level is a uh, very, uh, is, is appropriate time to score uh, better CGPA. Because in the diploma level, you will face more difficulty and it will, prove, uh, it will be more difficult to get good CGP in the diploma level and degree level. So it is very important to score better CGP in the foundation level itself so that uh, your CGP will not go down in the diploma and degree level. So for good, from good CGP, I mean the 8.5 plus will be the ideal CGP. And even if, if you have the 7.5 plus CGP, then no need to worry. You will but you have to improve your CGPA and try to make till 8 or 8.5. But if you have less than 7.5, I will say you need to improve and uh, then you can take the uh, improvement exam. But uh, do not take the unnecessary improvement exam and uh, 
So that's why I have written the try to finish as early as possible because I have seen many of the uh, many students um, in order to improve their CGPA uh, uh, take the improvement exam again and again. Uh, but I will not suggest you to do that because the foundation level is the basic one, and if you uh, get uh, um, caught in the foundation level itself, you will not be able to proceed in the next level. And the diploma or the degree level is more important than the foundation level. Foundation level is just the basic. Uh, you can say that just the trailer of your the picture, but the main picture starts on the diploma degree level. So it is very important to score better as well as finish early. Then another thing which I want to highlight is make your own notes because I have seen because there are a lot of notes available uh, for this program. Uh, you can find in the Telegram, YouTube uh, websites, but I will not suggest you to uh, to refer that notes. Because making your own notes is quite important to succeed well in this program specifically. Because in the online program, if you do not make your own notes very well structured note, then you will not be able to succeed well in this program. Because the art uh, note making it is uh, itself an art, and you need to learn this art as early as possible. Because the note. Um, because at the time of exam, if you do not make good notes, you have to refer the video again and again, and it will uh, be a time consuming. But during the exam, you are required to solve questions, not to ref uh, refer videos again and again. But if you have good notes, then you can uh, refer the, your notes and uh, you can solve the question. It is uh, true in uh, every con competitive exam. If you are prepared for the JE gate, uh, or any other competitive exam, then you must know the importance of your own notes. And the good notes is very important to succeed well in the competitive exam and in this online program also. Then other thing which I have noticed that many of you again and again ask about the placement, uh, highest package, average package, lowest package, uh, what companies visit in the IITM, how will be the placement. But I will suggest, please do not study for the placement. IIT, uh, you are studying at IIT and IIT will definitely provide a good placement opportunity. IIT will uh, always be, uh, is always ready to provide you the stage for the placement, but you need to prepare well for to perform well in that stage. For that, you need to uh, acquire as uh, as much as a skill you can. So it is very important to study with the learning attitude, not for the uh, not with the placement attitude. So learning attitude is the only motivation, motivation, uh, motivation factor which, uh, help, which, will, which will help you to score better in this program. But if you study for the placement, then you will be definitely not be able to uh, uh, perform well in this program. So do not worry much about the placement, especially in the foundation level. Foundation level is not for the placement point, uh, not uh, for the placement point of view. Uh, so. The foundation level study with the learning attitude, whatever the content is presented to you, try to grasp as much as uh, concept you can, and then study more about it with the learning attitude. Then you can definitely, uh, then you will definitely uh, able to succeed in this program. Then another very important thing is time management. Time management is also a very important art or a skill that many of you do not know how to manage your time well. And then if you do not manage your time well, then you will screw up your own thing, uh, all things. If you are doing this program with another degree program, then you will uh, uh, perform well. Uh, if you then your another uh, offline degree and this online degree will uh, screwed up uh, at the same time. So time management is very important. So you have to manage your time well. Uh, and at the same time, you are not required to compromise your other things. So if you need to make a balance so that uh, both things will go uh, along with each other. So if you have a, a, an a offline college and if you will take uh, the four subject, then it will be quite difficult for you to perform well in the both in the offline college and online college. But it all depends on your capability, your understanding, your previous knowledge and uh, how much hard work uh, you can uh, do. So. Uh, that's why I have written, uh, you need to be aware of your own capability and the self introspection is quite important for I will try to make an, a separate video for time management because the time management is quite important. So 
Uh, this is all about time management because I will comment more about it. Uh, the video will become quite long. Then another thing is do not compute your situation with others. I have seen that many of you uh, compare your situation that uh, my friend is taking for four subjects in a term and he is completing all four subjects. Uh, then how uh, I will also be able to complete all the four subjects. But it is not like that. All have the different situation, different background and different learning ability. So do not compare your situation with others. Uh, um, be aware of your situation and then act according. Then another last important thing which I want to highlight is do assignments on your own. Because I have written it especially because I have seen that uh, assignment solution is uh, available uh, very easily in the discourse, in the telegram, YouTube. You will find the solution of assignment everywhere. And uh, I will say that you can refer that solution after your own attempt. But if you are not attempting uh, uh, the assignment by your own even for the first time, then it will not prove uh, uh, helpful to you in the long run. So uh, it is very important to do your assignment on your own. So if you do your own assignment your own, then you will be able to grasp more concept. And then uh, if you are able to, because whatever you uh, learn it is all about theory and unless and until you apply in the form of assignment then you will not be able to succeed well in the program and another thing which i want to highlight is participate actively in the discourse and the live session so if you have time you can participate in the live session live session is a recommended thing but if you do not have much time then you can also skip that but uh, you can uh, uh, always participate actively in the discourse it is just like a uh, uh, your uh, WhatsApp, Telegram, email. Just, you just need to be check the uh, discourse once in a day or two in a day, so that you must be aware of what is going on this program. So uh, please try to participate actively, and if someone is asking some doubt, then you can also answer that doubt. In this way, then uh, you your concept will improve uh, also, and then your friend concept will also improve. So it is very important to participate actively in discourse. So this is the all the basic tips which I have, uh, 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 which I think you must need to know and you must need to follow to uh, succeed well in the program. So and all these tips uh, are uh, according to my experience what I have experienced so far in this program. So uh, these are the four uh, subjects of the term one. And these are the four subjects of the term two. So you can see there are the English one, maths one, stats one, CT, English two, maths two, stats one, Python. So, uh, uh, so all the eight subjects are quite important for the next level. But I will say that you need to focus more on the maths two and the stats two. Because the concept which you will learn in the maths two and the stats two will be used very heavily in the upcoming terms. Because the whole concept of the machine learning and the artificial intelligence and uh, deep learning is all based on the mass to and the stats to whatever the concept of the random variable probability and the, especially the uh, uh, last part uh, Bayesian distribution hypothesis uh, hypothesis testing and the linear algebra concept which you have learned in the mass to uh, multivariable uh, calculus all these concepts will be used heavily, uh, very heavily in the uh, upcoming term. So it is very important to grab the concept very well of these two subjects. And to grab the very uh, concept very well, you need to uh, have a good understanding of the mass one and stats one also. But you will not face much difficulty in the mass one and stats one if you have studied uh, maths and the, uh, if you have maths background in the class 12. And if you look at the CT, and the Python, uh, Python. If you understand the concept of the CT computational thinking, which is uh, very theoretical in nature, uh, so if you are able to grasp the concept of CT quite well, then you will not be able. Uh, do, then you will not face much difficulty in the Python, because the Python is just uh, the implementation of the con whatever concept you have learned in the CT. So if you are able to uh, understand the logic or the flow of the program quite well uh, in the CT computational thinking 
then you will definitely able to write the program very well in the python python is just a language and uh, you just need to implement your flow or logic in uh, one of the language which is called python so that's why the python will not uh, uh, be very hectic for you even if you will not have any programming background then python will not be very hectic but it will prove very uh, uh, fun it will be very uh, learning experience and the fun experience to learn the python and for uh, english 1 and english 2 uh, i will say that uh, this two may seem boring in the first instant but uh, these two are also very important because whatever you have learned you need to communicate well to the others and for communication english is very important you may uh, feel it's boring and the, it's uh, it uh, unrelevant but it is quite important for you to succeed well in the program so i will also make a detailed video regarding all these four subjects so what you need to do to succeed well in this four uh, all uh, eight subject and then i will meet you in another video just like this so if you have liked this uh, video uh, whatever i have done whatever effort i have put to make this video then please do like and if you want you can also subscribe and you can also share this video to others so that they can also take benefit from this video so thank you for watching this video i will meet with, uh, with meet you in another video with another topic for then goodbye take care and happy learning What's going on? I don't know what to do. Paralyzed by options in this world, can't pick and choose. Yeah.